Mrs. Ajayi Olamide. When did I meet my husband? Mm, I met him around uh, 2009 when I was in final year in, my, in school. So meeting him also, I'm so impressed because I don't even expect it. I don't. We do know that mm. man always has a woman out, so it's the one that asks me out. Mm, I, I did just get married like that. So we dated at least, we dated like six months, and it's not that we get marriage immediately. After some years, after our dating, so we now got married like last year, it's going to a year plus now. What I like most about him is that he's very calm and gentle. He hates someone to, be, to talk too much, but what I just like mostly is that is a fearing, fearing God person. Is a fearing God person. At least my firstborn is about nine years now. So let me say about eight years. We got we now re, we got marriage last year January. Ah. I'm a king Jaffa. No talk was to be a quasi or bashi will be one shenija. But the only the only problem is that the issue came from me because I only thing happened at home. It's 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 it. Ah, oh yeah, go to ye ye. I'm sorry because that word I'm sorry is a big word but uh, in marriage some, some, some couple did not accept that I'm sorry anytime we have quarrel like that or is there anything between two of us I will need to say I'm sorry so after then everything will be solved I don't. Reason is that uh, uh, this divorce issue from the from the beginning, I hate it because I don't want situation whereby I will leave my children. And in children' life, they fear man than a woman. So I want situation whereby two of us will grow these children together because of their future. Whenever I wake up in the morning, there is actual prayer I used to pray to God is that anything divorce, I hate it. I don't even support it. No matter so I didn't pray that so I didn't pray that. In every circumstance in, in, in a marriage, woman needs to be submissive. So when you submissive to your husband, everything is solved. It's not easy, but we need to do it. We need. It's not easy in the process that when you, I don't have anyone to assist me at home, it's me and the children and my husband. So in that process, we need to take the children to the school, come back to the job. By 4 p.m., I need to be running up everything to meet up with the children. So it's just by God's grace. Never, I will never cheat on my husband because inside Bible, 
Bible did not accept adultery in the Bible. Any marriage that accepts shit in the marriage, that is, the marriage has been, it will get to end that the marriage will, will collapse. So, anything, anything, in every woman, there is something supposed to be beating in our heart is that that shitting is very wrong. I, I, you know, in this, in, in this, there is no how woman will do it. You will still have someone that will look after you, but you woman, you know, how, you, you will be the one to know how to take good care of that. But shitting in the marriage, I hate it and I will never shit on my husband. But because So we women need to be very careful. We need to be very careful because all what I just see about this cheating stuff is that thing about you to in your jukoro. See, you need to learn to tell my woman. So, but when in situation where by book on Cantoni, Jaco Matel, learn to see, you bring back to what about you need to learn all those things is just not, it will just be like a nonsense in, in front, in, in face of her. So, I don't, I don't support that. I have not experienced that. The reason is that, you know, when man is bringing such a thing, you already know what the man is want, wants from you. So it's not depend on how the lady behaves to the man. So that's why I say everything is in woman's hand. There is no how man will come. You know what the actual person need. So the remaining one is, is left over to the woman. So whenever that issue comes around, normally I didn't even they will not even see my eyes. What I think is lacking in the marriage now, this is that there is no love. Love is very important in everything in life. So if I, if a party song you know, be a woman, be a woman, see what he do to the left. There is a secret, though. Number one secret is that you need to be submissive to your husband, and, and you need to have the fear of God. When you have the fear of God, the remaining one is small. Anytime argument happens, I didn't used to return it. Anything you say is is okay. So in process where you argue with your husband, you know fight can come out from me. So anything that can bring argument, I used to separate from it. Is is out of. When, when, when someone is when, when someone is not contented with what you have, it can lead to that. Any anything inside marriage, you need in, in your Buddha money if I rather at it alone. So when you have that, all the remaining one is just is just small. I didn't think they are I, uh, to me, oh, because I don't have that experience. But in society today, is that man man used to override a woman. They used to override them, which is very bad. So. They, are, they used to override us, and we, we have equal rights in law. So we're supposed to have equal rights. 
Are you getting me, sir? So, ko ye ki okunrin ma se nkan ki obirin ma le but no so loju kan to ye ki obirin le ma se but o ye ki okunrin ma fi obirin si ipo won bi to ba se pa won lo wa ni ropo bi ele kini ka won ko se so ye ki they supposed to put us in their shoes so i didn't think they, they override us all I will advise them whenever, whenever such thing is going on, we women need to be voicing out. We're supposed not to keep it in us. When you keep so, so, such a thing in your mind, at the end, it will result to another thing. But when you voice out, people will come out and fight for you. husband though because before before the children you are you and your husband you have you have been together in every relationship you need to have something in your mind is that there is no how this this man we are talking about won't follow you won dileti won jade sita won ri obirin cause there is no how we can do it but in that situation where a, a man is doing adultery the woman just need to move closer to god and pray to him to call him back home is only prayer advice for them is that they should have patience in everything they are doing always have patience because in marriage marriage is sweet also the other side is depend on how you take it so when you have a patience everything are sorted